We're at the Marina Arena for the eighth time this season where Chennai are looking to rise from 7 to 6 where Jamshedpur currently sit rather nervously themselves looking to rise one place above on the points table to 5 as we welcome you to this coverage of match day 65. Once again, the question is two back-to-back -back victories for Chennai. Can they make it 3-3 three three as we have Let's Football on cue from Umesh Bora at the Marina Arena and Chennai and FC at home kicking it off for the eighth time already this season. Well, the only time Chennai and FC won a contest between these two sides. Riviero's on the ball straight away. Shoots with his right. Not to be another wonder goal just yet. Just wouldn't sit down for him, but it's lovely movement, lovely passing. That little flick over the top. Crivellaro just getting it out of his feet. Lance Paul. It will be Rafa Riviero. Sails over. Well, I don't think you would have let Tapper do that when you've got someone like Rafa there who has the ability. Absolutely well, and no mistake, the fact that he completely meant it. There's a header going into goal. Yeah, Shambri on his bike. Valskis! 1 0 Chennai! What a player he is! Nereus Valskis! You say that, Anand. What a player he is, but what a player Trivellaro is. How many times has he threaded that little ball in between the fullbacks and the centre backs? We're only 10, 12 minutes into the game, but look at this again. A little bit of quality. It's Shembri who cuts inside, and then that little ball in between the defenders. In a rich vein of form as uh, Valskis. This could be trouble for Chennai. Goyan does well, but that really should have been the back of the net from Farouk Chaudhry, and he knows it all too well. Caviero to deliver it. Valskis will be the target man. <laughs> Absolutely let that go. It's Subrata Paul and Shambri really should have put that header in the back of the net. I tell you what, that, that's up there for a contender and miss of the season. It really is because look, he's peeled off. There's no one near him at all. Subrata's missed it. It's a free header. There's no marking. Just a little bit more guile and it goes in the back of the net. This is second or third opportunity of the night. And yet again, Shambri creates that opening for himself but just can't bury it. Giraro, the man pulling those strings again in the middle of the park. Possession back for Jamshedpur, but they are coming, are the men of steel. And there you go once again. No, Costa with the cross. Grande is there. Sergio Castillo! He wants a penalty. FC. Chennai build on the other side. Criviero's there. Valskis on the right. This could be 2 0 in no time. Vasquez cuts, drops the shoulder, Vasquez! Good save, Subrata ball. Was going down but had an outstretched right hand which was strong enough to prevent it becoming 2-0. Well, the counter-attack was on, wasn't it, for Chennai? Lovely little ball again from Cavallo. Just checking back inside, Valquez looks for that top corner. To go to his left, eventually it's a corner for Chennai. And FC and a header and eventually the man does find the back of the net it's Shemri who scored their first goal of this season that's cushioned to the scoreline you've got to say if anybody deserved it it was him the sequence of misses no more 2-0 to Chennai and they won more well he must have been watching the ITK game the other day because Jais Rani did exactly the same with Goyan going for the header Bikash Jairu with the corner this time and cleared away by the Chennai defence and that will be that in the first half. But two good, good goals from Chennai and FC, the two-time champions. The Super Wee Valskis once again winding the back of the net. His nine to go with his three assists in the 13th minute. And the 43rd minute strike with a head from Shambri ensuring a 2-0 scoreline for the two-time champions against the Men of Steel. But it's only half-time. Chennai and FC, the two-time champions, 2-0 two ahead. That's only half-time. Let's talk about Jamshedpur. We're looking to stage a comeback here. No shots on target in the first half. It's the fourth time this season that they've failed to hit a shot on target in the first half. Still looking to find Sergio Castell in positions where he can find his seventh of the season. But on the other side, Narendra Gailod has had some work to do before Changte could get to it. Yeah, I bet he was a little bit nervous seeing that yellow shirt come flying out. Sabrata. After what had happened in the last game, so didn't want to take any 
chances and just dealt with it. Another set piece. Maybe here's an opening for Jamshedpur. Trying something different there. Monroy to Farouk. Vishal does ever so well and eventually collects in the second attempt as well. But that was well anticipated by the goalkeeper. Much, much better from Vishal Kath, it has to be said. Well worked, one off the training ground. And Rutapa just caught Nap in there. He's got options again, Griero, but tries to do it all himself. Griero to Vasquez! The number nine should have had number ten there. In the middle of the park for Chennai NFC. Now Costa with some space, we're really looking for a shot from distance. Vishal Kett spills it a little bit, but thankfully for him and his captain Goyan, that was about the only mistake, and he collects it later on. Joyner taking his time with that throw in. Sergio Castell tries to put it in the path of CK Beneath. Kash Chairu, Vasquez helping out the midfield as well there. Tracking all the way back. Another 10 minutes or so and Chennai would be a lot more comfortable with this scoreline, but not so at the moment. Sergio Castell, and that's exactly why! 5-5 five and five for Jamshedpur, for their number 9, Sergio Castell. He certainly has castled the Chennai defence there. Should he be even on the pitch? That's the question. But at the end of the day, you give him half a yard and he'll take full advantage. He's looking, he's looking, Eli Sabir, he knows he's there. He's just nipped in front of him. Composure needed now from Chennai. Good ball here. Could be 10, it is 10! Vasquez with more goals than any other this season. What a player he is. And just when Chennai look for inspiration, they look at their Super V and Vasquez delivers every single time. No more on nine. He goes to double digits, the first player to do so this season. What a player. Super Vasquez. Well, that's quiet and down the jam chef ball, hasn't it? But it's under a tapper who just sees the run and just plays an inch perfect ball. But if Sergio Castell gets one and makes this 3 all. Never thought of that, did we? <laughs> Not happening. It's <laughs> a hint of a prediction there in the last five or six minutes of this game. Great cutback. Face to rescue! John Well, a kiss to the cameras. And no miss this time from Lalanzuala Changte, who gets only his second of the season with the easiest of tap-ins from probably and makes it from a challenging contest to one-way traffic in absolutely no time. Changte with the goal, Chennai 4-1 ahead. Another disappointing effort that Masi Saigani could clear that easily and the final whistle will go. But we do say it's not over till the fat lady has sung. But it's not over till Edwin Sidney Vance Paul has done dancing along with the fans until Valskis has proven to be the difference once again. And that's exactly what the story is at the Marina Arena in their eighth home game. Chennai FC doing what champions do. Still looking to make a comeback into the top four and edging closer to it now, displacing Jamshedpur.